Before you work with CISO, you need to prepare your Google Slide set. If you downloaded my freebie or purchased a set from me, you will get a PDF file with a clickable link. Click on the link and you will get to make a copy of the Google Slide set. Here is how the Google Slide set looks inside. You can work with the whole set or choose certain slides that will be attached in Seesaw. How teacher creates an assignment with Google Slides. This is how you create an assignment in Seesaw. You should click create new activity. You can name it, you can add instructions, you can add voice instructions and you could add many things. You can add a photo, a drawing, a video. Here you can actually add a Google slide set uh, via your Google Drive, but it would be added as a PDF file and the movable pieces will not work. In my case, it can only work with sight word readers that you want to use in a preview mode. But if you want to use any Google slide that has movable pieces, you need to use the link. In order for you to use the link, go to your Google Slide set, click share, choose anyone with the link in view, copy the link, add this link here, but change and write copy. Choose continue instead of just going to add file, and assign. You can actually add the voiceover and caption, but you can skip this and you can add an assignment. Click save and click assign. How a student joins your class? He can do this with a text code that you have or scanning the code. How the student sees the assignment that you assigned. Here how he sees it and he should click on the link. It will ask him or her to make a copy, click to make a copy and a student this way will create a copy of a Google slide set on his or her drive. The student can work with this slide. This can happen too. Just reload your page. A student works with the slides. He chooses the correct word and drags the movable piece to the correct word. How a student turns in the assignment? This is the desktop version. So the student should click on share and get the shareable link. It will be copied to the clipboard and the student should return to Seesaw and add a response and he will choose link. 
and paste the link that was copied and assign it. How a teacher sees who responded to the assignment. This is how it looks. And the teacher clicks on the link on the response and checks. This is the version of the student that was completed. You can see that the movable pieces are in the right place. And a teacher can comment, can like this assignment and approve it. The student says that the teacher approved the assignment. How a student turns in the assignment on the tablet. So the student again clicks on the link and copies the link. It will open in the web. He will need to make a copy and then it tells to open the Google Slides app, which you click and work in the Google Slides app. You tap once and drag the movable piece. Here, in order to see and to make a link of this slide, you should click on share, turn on the link sharing and it will be, the link will be copied to the clipboard. The student returns to the app, Seesaw app, clicks Add Response, chooses Link, and the link will be automatically copied, and then it will be assigned. You can also add a family member, so that family member would see the progress of a child. First of all, you need to turn on family access and you can invite a family member in different ways via email, share the invite link. If you click on print invites, inside there will be a QR code that a family member can scan. Don't forget that the family member should download CISO app for family. Enter that app via QR code and the family member can see what kind of class her child is a part of and the family member can also communicate with the teacher. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and comment if you have any questions about Seesaw and Google Slides. Mm -hmm.